Hey guys, Soki here, and welcome to another episode of my uh, playthrough of the Division 2 beta. So we are chasing this um, woman here, and she is uh, probably the boss of this mission. I'm playing the side mission right now. We are back at the garage here. We are trying to rescue this um, this agent. Was captured by some some uh, gang leader. Uh, oh. oh wait. I can shoot this one here. Unless they won't react. Or... Oh, uh, oh maybe. Wait. Yeah, well. Let's just go for it. Oh, nice. This one is burning. Hello? Hate these nice guys. Oh my goodness, I have this M14 in the grip. Yeah, I'm dead. Goodbye now. It was fun though. Immediate medical assistance needed. Just let me get my goddamn. They're coming from every direction. Quickly. Need my vector. So apparently it seems like my vector is like the only weapon I can use as my secondary right now. Seems like no other secondary can match up with. Is it level 2 though? I think it's, it's level 3, okay. And we are playing a level uh, 4 mission. All right, let's uh, fuck these guys up. I think we need to be at a distance here. There's so many. There's a sniper here as well. Some robot shits there. Fucking sniper again. Is that another robot? Knifing guys are coming. Oh wait, oh it's too far away.
Come on, sniper. Let's go for some... Uh, this armor? Yeah, it's armor. Come out, come out, bitch. Such a coward. Get over here and get something in your piss. I need my armor again? Alright. This sniper rifle is really powerful. Someone's coming! Need a better angle here. Bitch. Oh, that was close. How'd you like me now, bitch? Yeah, yeah, I'll kill you later, okay? What the hell was this? Shit, Fucking disrupting, stunning device. But this level is really hard, though. I like it. I like a challenge. I like to feel powerful. What the hell? Well, you're not really feeling powerful when you're getting wrecked, but at the same time, you feel like you're accomplished something in your life. Dude, there's so many. Jesus. Snipers and such. Get him behind the wall. There we go. And then wait one. No, this one here. Bitch, get out of here. Right, and more. Guess I'll get some more armor. My God, this place. Let's go this way. Oh, there's someone there. I can see his head. Just can't hit it. What the fuck did you do to my car? Damn! Hell? It's still on the left side. Where is he now? Did I kill him? Hmm. Really?
Yeah, let's see it. Just uh, searching for some ammunition. All right, food hall entrance, and they have cut the power. Hostile radio intercepted. Hey guys, I'm still willing to deal, but you better decide fast. I don't know how much more this dude can take. She's goading you to try to make you reckless. Just stay focused. Yeah, she's probably right. something here and it's not good there's one guy there and one there and one thing over there chemical explosion bitches this is a bad angle that is my only angle Chemical! Chemical shits. Wait. Oh, take this position right here. What the hell? Another bad angle? Yeah, well, we are elite players, so we can do everything as long as we believe in our aim. Fucking A, man. There's another one here. Oh, I thought it was a guy. Just chemical explosives. Oh. Nice. We better shoot all of these canisters. Unless we're going to get some um, chemical blasts in our heads. More armor. There's no one else coming here because this is a bad angle for uh, combat. Always try to do um, things strategically where you're placing yourself in the area. Oh no, there's coming more. More coming. I think this is a great spot actually. Of those fucking knife shits. Oh, I was close to hit this canister or this propane tank. Yeah, there's some fucking armored shits here. Damn it. Fuck. 
I did him. This guy here. What's over here? Come on, man. I need to bait this guy. This guy is not getting baited. Holy fucking shit, he did some insane damage there. Just look at my armor. I was barely outside. Jesus. And this is level 4 and I'm level 5? This game is some serious nastiness. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh man, these grenades are so slow. Do we have any more? Any more? No. I'll use my drone on this guy just for fun. Nice, nice. That's my first drone kill, I think. I always miss those, uh, those bombs. Okay, so we need to locate um, Espinosa. Espinosa is uh, there somewhere? Yeah. Just um, scavenging for some more ammunition or armor. I think we might need it because this level is hard. Just uh, taking that. Can I? There we go. Yeah, I think this is it. Can't see anything else. Or maybe here? Wait. What the hell? Yep, let's go. going up here this looks like some kind of James Bond uh, movie damn yep we need to restock because this is gonna be one hell of a um, boss battle think this is only a side mission. Agent Five Signs, zero. He didn't have to die here. What? I'm leaving this to you! Finish them off! Did the agent actually die? Oh, so the the woman was Oh no, fuck. I missed that. Yeah well, so no I didn't. <laughs> The woman wasn't really um, bullshitting after all. Oh, well, that's really sad. Just came all this way for nothing. Damn. It's precision. These guys are so precise. Oh no. Fucking A. What the hell was that? What 
hell, man? These guys are really aggressive. They really risking your life that much just for how to kill one person. Oh man! I hate this aggression on these guys. Holy shit, man. They're like attack dogs. Just chasing you until you're dead. I didn't play Ghost Recon Wildlands for 200 hours for nothing, so. I can. Kill these people. Kind of robot, I think. Neutralize Coyote's forces. Is this the last guy? Ah! Are you fucking serious? Another robot shit? Then you just. Show yourself, man. Don't be such a pussy. Hello! Thank you. Now stand your ground. Come on. One on one, bitch. Tier 1 Pro, or not a Tier 1, Tier 30 I think, let's go, so we need to go up here I think, I'm just gonna scavenge quickly, up in here, right, Going outside, okay. More restocks in, yeah. Restocking for another hard battle. Pursue Peyote. Need a better angle here. So my friend was not tier one. Is this her? Can't see him. Can't see me. Are you blind or something? This is one hell of a side mission though. <laughs> Fucking boss and everything. This is great though. Oh, she's using this knife rifle, of course. 
And she has insane. What the hell? Was that level 41? I can't really reach her from this angle, and she's doing insane damage, so. I'd have to go closer. And I'm out of my fucking armor. Oh, man. There's more there. Yeah, I need to be careful here. I think she has some kind of a semi-automatic sniper rifle. Maybe M14. Need to get up close. Oh, she's coming out. Is there more fucking guys there? Oh man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me just cover. Oh my god, man. And the fucking. Oh my. Holy shit, man. This was a level 4 side mission when I'm level 5? Yeah well, I guess Ubisoft... Oh man, I guess Ubisoft um, made their promise. You're doing more damage to the enemy and they are doing more damage to you. Well at least it's better than shooting like 2000 bullets into one enemy. Oh man, you're just spamming these robots, man. How am I supposed to do this shit with all these robots around? God damn! And I don't have any armor, so... Another fucking. Can't see the guy who's um. Who's rolling these boys out? Is this guy? Oh, it's his uh, boss. I think he's on the right side there. Yeah. No! Press the wrong button, man. Immediate medical assistance needed. I pressed the wrong button. Oh, this is fucking hard. to get rid of this fucking spammer right here. Oh yeah, so the rubber is coming from this direction. Then we need to go to the right there. He's somewhere here. You serious? Is he back here? Uh, 
Where is this guy? I can use my drone on him, I think. Didn't need to uh, have a vision on him though. He's back here somewhere. Or maybe it's actually her. Maybe it's her actually. Jesus man. I think it might be her. I'm going for the drone. I think it might have range. I'll try. Vital signs critical. Are you fucking serious man? Yeah, this mission is fucking hard, man. Like, this this mission is like, uh, it it looks like it's some kind of a four-player mission. Like, I played uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands on tier 30 mode, or at least tier one mode with level tier tier 30, and you get three-shotted. And this game is like. When there's so many enemies and you're supposed to go through all these areas without dying, that bastard can't have gone it's almost like you're playing tier 30. Because you don't get reshotted, but there's so many enemies, so many angles they're coming from, and so many chemical reactions, like uh, all these flames that can do insane oh, amount of damage like over time. Seems like this mission is a multiplayer design mission. And I know this game is a co-op mission, but still it should be a possibility for every kind of level. Every kind of person, like um, one person, four persons. shouldn't be necessary to level up to level 6 just to play a level 4 side mission. There's another fucker here, or two, or three. Come on. And another fucking drone. I'm gonna burn this guy. Please. Oh, okay. Can't you just die, please? I think there's someone besides her there. Beside her. This fucking throw, man. I don't think my drone has the, uh, the range. Let me see. I think it might have a range. I think I might have hit her. <coughs> Just a little bit, maybe. Oh no! 
Oh, nice. Ah! And when you are in this fire state, you are kind of disoriented because you are on, in a panic state, so your character moves in every possible direction. Yeah, yeah. Let me just recover here. This angle is so bad, I, can, I can't really focus on this side and this side at the same time when I'm aiming. And then my spot is blown up because the fucking fire is there, oh my god. And another one, yeah, of course. Can't I really recover any more health here? Am I stuck at like... Okay, wait. Maybe I should just go to the fucking right side here, yeah. I'll just make my move and get closer to this side. I motherfucker. It would be fun if you could shoot her when she's uh, throwing her um, robot because then she would. What the fuck? There is nothing you could have done for Espinosa. That fucking hyena was toying with us. I hope she suffered a bit before you finished her off. Anyway, thanks to you, we're an important step closer to getting the Shade Network back to full strength. You did good. I'll see you around. I'm looking for an agent to recover supplies from Dark Zone East. I've spent time in the Dark Zones, and I know a thing or two about the hazards and the opportunities you can find inside those walls. Follow my advice, and you just might make it out alive. Okay, so let me just finish my sentence here. I thought it would be funny if I could just shoot uh, the girl when she was uh, deploying her uh, robot because then she can just burn. You know, you can do that when you see the um, the grenade marker when people are trying to throw grenades. And if you shoot them, then they will uh, drop the grenade and they will catch fire or uh, get targeted by their own acid or explosive. That's really cool. Anyway, um, I didn't think this would be this easy when I got that close because... She was, um, she didn't really have any armor on her head, so. Close up headshots is the best solution. This is an emergency! There's been an explosion near Capitol Station! It must have ruptured some of the containers of DC-62, because now there's shit billowing all over the place! We need to evac now! Yeah. This will, wait. Complete the recon missions to investigate the area and gain access. Dark Zone East was evacuated. This is an emergency! Tracy, you're... Yeah, I think we can go there. Welcome to Endgame, okay nice.
All right then. So we have access to the end game now. That's really cool. So maybe we should just uh, try it out and see some of the um, the new specialization classes. I guess we'll just uh, log out. And well, let's see here. So we have the um, the sharpshooter, yeah, the sharpshooter. We can go through the weapons here. This guy has some um, legendary gear and epic gear. And a signature weapon, which is the TAC 50C rifle. Snipe rifle. So this guy is um, for the guys who like to um, uh, support their, their teammates by standing uh, at, the, at the back. And Get some long range kills. And this is the survivalist, which is personally my my favorite. Control their surroundings using traps, status effects, and a precision crossbow. That's that's literally me in a nutshell when it comes to games like this playstyle is my my ultimate playstyle. And this guy has also some um, legendary and epic gear and the signature weapon is the crossbow with explosive bolts and you can also equip uh, acid bolts and flame bolts and such the next one is the uh, demolitionist Let's see here, signature weapon, M32A1, multi-shot grenade launcher. This is for the guys that like um, explosives and, um, and um, crowd control and a lot of damage in general. Take out elite, um, elite guards and bosses. Focus on disrupting enemy plans and Entrenched positions with a grenade launcher as their center weapon. Yeah. Agents of Chaos. And that's the three um, specializations in the endgame. So I'm gonna try out the, the crossbow guy, uh, the survivalist. Uh, I think you can try out all these endgame characters, so I might try quite all of them uh, in the later videos, see um, how they work. But let's start with this guy.
Alright, backup request. Okay, so we're we got ourselves a new uh, mod here. Black Tusk Invasion. That's our um, that's our invasion mission here. So our gear score is uh, 327 now. That's a lot more than the character I was playing first. And we got ourselves a legendary uh, M MP5 with level 3 out of 5, I think. Just, uh, yeah, I think it's level 3 out of 5. And then FP416. Uh, upgraded to level 4 out of 5. And this is, I think it's, um, looks like a Desert Eagle, to be honest. That's, um, yeah, a D50, that's the Desert Eagle. Awesome. Has some kind of, uh, in, um, um, like a decorating on it. Looks pretty cool. And oh my lord, just look at the damage, though. 26,700 damage? Whoa. 12,000 and 5,400. Whoa, that's some serious awesomeness. As you can see, this is our singe weapon, the crossbow. Nice legendary gear here. And this is the, um, the Seeker Mine, which I actually bought in the first... Um, in the beginning. So I actually and the drone here as well. What the are you, are you serious? I just throw I chose the drone and the seeker mine in the beginning of the game. Randomly because I kinda like those uh skills. <laughs> and it seems like that's the standard uh, issue for um for a survivalist the specialization. So it really shows that I'm uh survivalist that's cool I know myself <laughs> as you can see there's no um, no cash is here or anything because we're just testing out a um, uh, specialization it doesn't in even have uh, the mask yet though I wonder if he um, he doesn't have that because I didn't equip it last time or because maybe can't really equip a mask in this uh, beta. I don't know. Oh, wow! Just look at all these magazines and suppressors, laser sights, scopes. That's awesome. I'm really looking forward to playing this game, the full version. However, I won't be able to play it on the release date because I'm pretty much broke. <laughs> so. I'll be playing this game in late May or in the beginning of June, so yeah, it's a bit of a wait, but I'm really looking forward to it, so probably gonna play it for about 200 hours or so, just like with the Ghost Recon Wildlands. Will we equip the mods now, by the way? Defensive. Let's see. We could equip uh, some sort of grenade, I think. Concussion, fragmentation. Let's go for concussion. It's more the survivalist type. I thought you could have an elemental, to be honest. But I know it's going to be unlocked later on, so... 
And we got the seeker mine. And the seeker mine can be uh, upgraded. Um, let's see here. Explosive seeker mine, the airburst, cluster, and the mender. So we got the mender now. And the cluster is what I'm really looking forward to because it's gonna spit out all these uh, smaller seekers and track down enemies. That's the ultimate badassness. We got ourselves a drone and a turret that's perfect for my playstyle. A fixer drone and bombardier drone. We are using the fixer drone now, which can um, replenish nearby Alice's um, um, armor. Oh wow, that's really cool. And the turret, which um, is a sniper on this class, and you can go for the assault and the incinerator as well. But the incinerator is not available in the beta. Just like the cluster seeking mine. R1 and L1, yeah. So L1 for the drone and R1 for a seeker. Alright. We don't have a lot of time to test these uh, things out in this episode, but I'll try some at least for a few minutes. Still no mask here. Yeah. Oh wow, just look at the backpack there with the green light. Looks really awesome. This is the MP5 with um, customized appearance. I think that's um, uh, a Russian red dot site with a grip. It cost my stock. Really cool. And this one here is the E416 with some. Is that a suppressor? Or maybe it's a... Um, I think it is a suppressor. Kind of looks like one of those um, compensators as well. We can try though. Oh yeah, it's a suppressor. My lord. This is one hell of a... ...my class. Damn. I think we got some kind of greenish... Camouflage on our um, our P416. Some futuristic stock there. We just see the Desert Eagle here. Doesn't look like it has any uh, markings or. Uh, Or design, but it has this uh, kind of worn, blackish finish. Just look at this. I don't think I've seen any game that has this kind of um, like this warm gas coming out from the from the gun and shoots. That's insanely cool.
Because when you shoot a gun, it's an explosive inside it anyway, so... You can see the flames coming out in smoke. Damn. Well, um, this will be the end of this episode, so in the next one we will um, try this invasion mission with this uh, survivalist class. Personally, I'm really excited for it, so if you guys are interested in, interested in uh, seeing gameplay of those uh, specializations, just uh, stay tuned and uh, I will post the survivalist now and probably... The other two classes, the sniper, sharpshooter class, and and the uh, grenadier, explosive class, um, in one of the next episodes. So stay tuned for that. Okay. Out.